Hi, are you a beginner and you want to learn how to test all electronic components exist in motherboards? This video is for you. I'm going to teach you how to test all this electronic component using the multimeter. But please don't forget to subscribe, share and like the video. Please, because your likes really motivate me to create more videos for you. And for anyone who want to accelerate learning, you can join me in my Patreon page and I can be your mentor. All links in the description. And welcome to your comments and questions. I always do my best to answer all comments. So let's get started. So we are gonna see the component in this motherboard and also this motherboard. Okay, just in order to pass through all components. Let's begin with this motherboard first. So usually to be efficient, use the continuity option as you can see in the multimeter here. So for beginner, this is the continuity option as you can see. So let's begin from this side, for example. Here we have electrolytic capacitor, okay? So this black mark here, means ground also here we have electrolytic capacitor so this color here means we have ground and here we have positive terminal okay so if we put the black probe here in the negative terminal and the red probe in the positive terminal do you see in the multimeter if i switch the probes you will see charge and discharge do you see charge and discharge the same for example for this one as you can see let's see do you see guys means this is a good capacitor charge and discharge okay if you hear like this means the capacitor is bad also if you check the capacitor and there is no charge and discharge means the capacitor is bad. But for this one, for example, here, this is good. Why? Even if we have a low reading in the multimeter, but this capacitor belongs to CPU circuit. Okay? Belong to CPU circuit. And we know that the CPU circuit has a very low resistance. That's why we get this reading here. But for those, for example, here, for this one, for example, it's not belong to CPU circuit. Also, this one, as you can see, we have a low rate. These two are for CPU circuit. So this is for electrolytic capacitor. Let's now move on to ceramic capacitors. You see here, we have ceramic capacitors. The same, the same working principle. We have a reading, as you can see, this is good, okay? So, those thermal capacitors are good. Of course, for the thermal capacitor, it's not polarized component like electrolytic capacitor. It's not polarized, okay? But those are polarized. Always try or always respect the polarity. Do you see here, guys? We have here... Over here we have plus and over here we have minus here. For this one, for example, we have plus, minus. This one is not connected. Plus, minus. Okay? So, for ceramic capacitor, the same working principle. What about the inductors? Here we have inductors everywhere in the motherboard. So, for inductor or coil, you have to get a reading. Of course, you have to get a reading. Let's check this one. As you can see. Zero. This one also. We should get zero in the multimeter. As you can see. Okay. So all inductors, you have to get zero in the multimeter because inductor is just a wire. But if the inductor is failed, you will get an open. Okay. You will get open reading. 
okay so let's move on to other component so here for example this component is a fuse let's zoom in a little bit so do you see guys here we have fuse always you will find this mark p if i check this one the same as inductor we get as you can see a lower zero in the multimeter okay but also you can find the shunt resistor the same thing for shunt resistor like this one for example let's zoom a little bit this one this is we have zero here this is a shunt re resistor as you can see but those this is a normal resistor do you see those those are resistor always you will get uh, you will not get a continuum to but but to test this resistor of course you should go and check here the ohm let's see for example for these two resistors over here those basically about two ohm so let's move on here to ohm scale head okay and check those resistors basically this one this is a shunt resistor as you can see shunt resistor do you see about five ohm this one also the same about five ohm those should be about 2.2 okay 2.2 ohm you see about six five uh, just for the the multimeter is not calibrated okay so let's see another resistor a big resistor with a, a big value for example uh, let me see please here for example do you see guys here do you see this resistor we have one oh three okay so three means three zeros means 10 kilo ohm okay 10k so let's check of course we have to put the multimeter to 20k always select to the higher scale okay so let's check we have to find 10k we have to find 10k as you can see we have 10k 9.8 so this is how to test resistors uh, what about diodes guys what about diodes over here we have diode you see we have a diode here here we have this white mark means, means this is cathode and over here we have anode okay so let's move on the multimeter to continuity option here or diode option the same okay diode option because the diode and the continuity option is are in the same scale so let's put the black probe in the cathode like this and the red probe in the anode we get a reading about 200 okay so this is a good diode but if i swap the probes normally i should not get anything but this reading because the diode is connected to the motherboard let's look for another diode okay let me see another diode okay let's move on here here guys do you see we have here two diodes this is the first diode the second one so the white mark means this is the cathode for this one and also this is the cathode for this one so let's check this one over here the black probe in the cathode okay the red probe in the anode good we get already good diode this one also here we have cathode so already about 600 this is good diode so this is a good diode so what about ICs okay guys many of you will wonder how to test IC so basically to test IC like this one for example and this one basically you have to get the data sheet for the IC okay the data sheet to test the IC but we can use a technique to test or to know whether the IC is good or not how by testing the ceramic capacitors around the IC if you find that many of these capacitors are shorted like this means the IC is bad could be about 90% could be the shorted component okay because when the IC is shorted you will find also the ceramic capacitors around it also 
will be shorter. So let's check, for example, this one. Let's begin with this serum capacitor. Good. We have a reading. This one, for example. Good. 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 No short. So this IC is not shorted is good of course it could be failed but it's not shorted of course you can also use your finger and check the heat of the IC if you find the heat is above normal means the IC is bad the same this is the super IO you can use the same thickness for the super IO also by checking the serum capacitor around the super io if the super io is shorted or failed you're gonna find some shorted serum capacitors around it why because always for the serum capacitor it is connected to the ic in one side okay and to the ground in the other side okay to the ground in the other side so let's move on for example and check this resistor just for beginners here we have 100 do you see guys we have 100 means the value of this resistor is 10 ohm not 100 ohm no 10 ohm because always the third number is the number of zeros and the number of zeros is zero means we have just 10 okay so let's check of course the multimeter should be seated to the resistor scale here 200 and let's check this resistor we have 11 10 do you see guys so what about this component this is basically transistor these two are transistors and always you're gonna find here we have the base okay collector emitter so for transistor if you check between collector and emitter you have to get a reading we don't get a reading here let's if we swap these probes we have to get a reading let's check 700 good this is good one okay let's check this one also also this is good but if i swap the probes nothing will be shown in the multimeter as you can see so this is good transistors here we have another transistor here we have another transistor let's check this transistor also as i told you before base collector emitter let's check between emitter and collector we get a reading good means this is good if i swap the probes of course let's check nothing or we get a reading why because it is installed to the board but if we remove this tr transistor to outside of the board you're gonna find uh, nothing when you swap the props okay so let's say the other motherboard so for this board i'm going to do a very good technique in order to memorize how to test this component is by passing through all this component one by one okay so let's do it so let's begin here we have serum capacitor good 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 because we don't have a short but for this one we should get a continuity for this inductor good because continuity serum capacitor should not get continuity here we have this MOSFET, here we have gate, uh, drain source, let's say, between source and drain, we have to get a reading in one side. We have to get a reading. So let's check again here. So where is the reading? We should get a reading. Nothing in this MOSFET. This could be a bad MOSFET, okay? So let's move on. Here we have thermal capacitors. Thermal capacitors. This is tantalum capacitor. You see tantalum capacitor, charge and discharge, as you can see, charge and discharge. So this is tantalum capacitor. So we have MOSFET over here. This is MOSFET. Here we have inductor, tantalum capacitor, MOSFET, inductor so capacitors over here we have serum capacitor guys i have here 
uh, I have here a tip that I want uh, to share with you. Do you see? For example, do you see here the color for this thermal capacitor and the color for this thermal capacitor? The color is different, okay? And also in terms of size, do you see here? In terms of size, we have this thermal capacitor and this one. It's not same size. So, if you get, for example, by coincidence, you get a bad thermal capacitor. Let's assume, for example, that you have a thermal capacitor like this one is bad. You can change it by this one, by another thermal capacitor with the same color, like this and the same size. But you cannot change it by this one, for example, or this one. Okay? Good. But when you find a series of thermal capacitors like this or like this, if you have if you get or if you have a bad one, you can ignore it. You can ignore it. Okay, guys? Because the three are the same, are in the same line. So, guys, I hope that you understand a little bit about how to test component in the motherboard. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. And for anyone who want to join me in my Patreon page, you are very welcome. And also for anyone who has a question or a comment, you are welcome. I always do my best to answer all comments. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.